These roads are lovely. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is January 23rd and I'm driving to Arizona to go mule deer hunting, archery mule deer hunting. Crazy, it's the middle of winter and I'm going on a bow hunt. Arizona's got a bunch of really cool hunting opportunities. The one I'm doing right now, it's an over-the-counter archery or coos deer hunt and it starts December 1st and goes to pretty much the end of January and you can hunt almost the entire state. The tag costs aren't that bad for non-residents. It's $160 for just a general hunting license and then it's $300 for the tag, so $460 in total. Still a chunk of change, but relatively speaking, not too bad. I did this hunt last year with uh, Randy Newberg. I was down helping him film and, and photograph. Uh, way down south, kind of along the Mexican border, and I considered going down there this time, but I'm going by myself. I'm gonna be car camping the whole time, and. There was so much illegal traffic uh, down on the Mexican border last year that that just seems like a bad idea to be intertwined with. So anyway, I'm gonna go explore uh, more like the, the northern uh, half of the state. Should be really fun. I have no expectations. Brand new area, pretty much a brand new hunt. I know how to hunt, just something new and something to do in the middle of February. So I got about a 16 hour drive ahead of me. Here we go. All right, it's 11.30 p.m. Just drove 830 miles, 13 hours driving. Made it as far as I'm making it tonight. I'm in a little town called Overton. I was actually talking to my dad and he's come down here and stayed exactly right where I'm camping right now. And so he recommended camping on right here. And I'm on a cool bluff overlooking towns. Here's home for tonight and probably the next like eight nights. It's not comfortable enough that I will sleep in. Uh, we'll definitely say that. It's a quick little tour. Here's my bed. Here's my cooler. Full of a bunch of goodies. In case anybody decides to mess with me tonight or any night, just right out the back, just <laughs> Pistol would be nice, but I don't need that liability on my hands, so this'll do. Yeah, that's the tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Whether I capitalize on a deer or not, like, I, I really don't care. I just want to learn as much as I possibly can so that I can kind of reapply whatever I learn this year to uh, future years. All right, hitting the hay, we'll see you tomorrow. And good morning. Had a really epic sunrise this morning out here on the desert. Definitely not in Montana anymore. I drove like all through the night, so I really didn't know what the country was gonna look like when I woke up. It's pretty cool out here. So four or five more hour drive today, and uh, yeah, then I'll be deer hunting. Deer hunting is one reason to come down south in the winter, but views like this are definitely another. <laughs> this is wild. Made it to Arizona. Now time to go buy a hunting tag. And $300 later, got me a hunting tag. Well, I've officially made it to dirt, and I guess I'm hunting now. It's kind of weird. It looks like there should be deer and elk everywhere, so uh, I'm gonna keep that optimism going and uh, yeah, see what we see. So I got into the unit and I'm trying to hunt here last night and uh, drove all over the place. I put in like 50 miles last night just driving around exploring country and man, I looked at some really cool ground but uh, I didn't even, I didn't turn up a single deer. So I'm learning where the deer aren't, <laughs> which is uh, one step closer to figuring out where they are. My game plan is to start in the high country, and the reason for that is there's not very much snow in Arizona right now, and so the deer might still be up, up higher in the mountains and haven't really moved down to the flats yet. So anyway, so I'm starting up high. Um, haven't really seen a whole lot up high. I've got a few other spots I'm gonna check this afternoon, and then, uh, then I'll probably work uh, down into the low country. I'm gonna shoot my bow here, make sure everything's still dialed and good to go, and uh, then we'll get after it. Shot 20, 30, 40, and 50. Should be good to go now. All right, I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I'm going to attempt to instantly change in my hunting clothes. All right, ready? <laughs> All right, I have 
left the mountains and am down in some lower country right now. I'm, I'm right in this fringe zone between the, the mountains and the prairie. I haven't seen a deer yet. I've hunted mule deer a lot, but I've never hunted mule deer in the desert or in, in, in Arizona before. And uh, it's really like a whole different species. It's always humbling, <laughs> but that's just part of it. So I'm looking forward to seeing my first deer, hopefully tonight. Well, I got to 65 yards from that buck and he spotted me and got up and buggered. 10 yards too far. Uh, I'm just not really confident at that distance. Super fun, really cool. Uh, I spotted that buck at first light this morning. Pretty much lost him until about an hour left of daylight. I was able to get on him, set the spotter up on him at 95 yards. Yeah, super fun day. Uh, I definitely know that going into tomorrow, I'm gonna bring my safari sneakers. For those of you who don't know, those are, they're basically like, a, they're like a fleece outer shoe that you put um, over the top of your regular shoes. And they're, they're just wicked quiet. I mean, they completely negate most sound that you make. Um, I don't know if I could have got any closer with them, but it certainly would have helped. Not really sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I pretty much busted all the deer out of that basin. Um, but we'll figure it out. Wrapping up day five, I saw one deer today. Pretty anticlimactic day, unfortunately. So that's the way she goes, I guess. I'm learning where the deer aren't. There's a lot of places that the deer aren't. <laughs> the deer settings were limited today, but this view don't suck. I didn't get skunked. I'm currently watching five does. This is definitely a bit of a mental grind. Not seeing animals is, is tough. So this morning I uh, saw a lot of deer actually. I saw 30 does, does and fawns, not a single buck with them. I'm guessing that the rut is over and the bucks are off by themselves, recuperating, finding nutrition, something. I can't find them. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. I gotta get back to Montana here in a couple days and I'm pretty much right down to the wire and yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna call it. It's not defeat by any means. I learned a ton and I'm totally gonna come back next year. I'm gonna reapply some of what I learned and biggest thing is to figure out exactly when the rut is and probably come during the rut. Yeah, a couple weeks earlier, even a month earlier, come around Christmas. I mean, I found the does. I found some really nice uh, country, really good bow hunting terrain, uh, does and fawns everywhere. But yeah, super awesome trip. Uh, really fun to come down south. Well, that's a wrap on Arizona archery mule deer hunting. And also for anyone who's wondering which glasses these are, because I've been getting a ton of questions. I really don't know. I got them from Costco and I got reflective lenses on them. That's all I know. Wish I could help you more. All right, we'll see you next time.